Okay, Gareth Southgate has been announced that he's, you know, he signed a contract extension running through to the end of 2022, which is when the World Cup is in Qatar. So it's not, he's got to be manager for another four years of England, which is good news, I think. Uh, I think uh, regardless of the criticisms of, of Southgate's selections and the players that went the World Cup, he, that, that dressing room and that in the England programme right now is a very positive place for those players. Uh Every single one of them stepped up their level of performance. Even if the quality level at the end, there were some players that were being criticised, they were still willing to chug away and be involved uh, and work with Gareth Southgate. And he was willing to work with them. It was a very positive environment. The culture is clearly right. Um, the off-field culture, how the how the players did the various press conferences more openly. There was a simply more relaxed nature about the setup. And we can criticise these players for their clubs when they have a bad game. Uh, but when they played for England, the, the the country seemed to, for the most part, get behind the team or have an interest. Even if they were being critical of certain players, they were still suddenly going, we have a chance here as an outside dark horse. And England gave it a good go. And they came up a bit short against, against Croatia and Belgium in the, in, the, in the last couple of games. However, there's a good platform to build upon for the Euros and then for the, the World Cup in Qatar. There's, there are some good, solid foundations at Southgate has has put in place and if he decides to stay on post 2022 great if he decides okay i've, I've had my time now I've, I've done my stint um i want to go back to club management or take on another national role or another challenge he will definitely leave the england set up in a stronger state and a better state than what he found it um and yeah we can be critical of, of his tactics at the world cup but he had he, he was limited in what he was working with there were some players who while not overly skilled were hard workers, and I think that's what he values more is his hard work, energy, and graft over step overs and flashy skills. There was a lot of hard workers in that squad, um, and they worked as a team. It wasn't the Harry Kane show or the Sterling show or whatever star player, insert name here. It was the team effort. Um, they got over some hoodoos that you know have held England back extra time and penalties. They finally got through some difficult tests that involved extra time and penalties. They got through them, uh, which which hasn't happened since 96 with the penalty shootout against Spain, and it never happened in the World Cup, apart from a couple of games which went to extra time, which they narrowly won. So they haven't done this for a very, very long time. They won a knockout game for the first time in over a decade. So there were some serious positives to take from this and some serious lessons learned. And some of these lessons, like winning penalty shootouts, saying, you can do this, because our record didn't in knockout football involving penalty shootouts is atrocious. We've only ever won two out of nine or something silly like that. So there were some positives to take from it. Of course, there were some negatives. There were some defeats in there, but there were some positives which they can take forward into the next tournament and and and, and you know and the next fixture and the next game, and they can learn. The fact that Gary Cahill and Jamie Vardy have, have decided to take a step back from international football may be a mistake. But that comes down to both the player and the manager and how, what the conversation they had and what they feel they can still bring or not bring to the table and whether the, that it's a working relationship. Now, I don't think Jamie Vardy was the right player to have in a Southgate squad with the style of football that Southgate was playing. It just didn't suit Vardy's style of play. And But he still was willing to do the training, sit on the bench, work hard in training, occasionally get minutes. He was still willing to show up. It's just... I don't think it suits his style of play, and his style of play doesn't suit the tactics currently employed by Southgate. A year or two down the line, those tactics may evolve, but we'll see if, if Vardy and, and Gary Cahill, for example, because he still want, he said he wouldn't rule out playing for England again, but he again stepped back. They both said that. So we'll see if they ever come back into the national fold, uh, but it's, it's interesting. But getting Southgate through for another four years is, I think, one of the best decisions the FA has made in a long time. Uh, the, the FA have made some really interestingly poor decisions over the last 10, 20 years. For once, this is a decision that actually makes sense. Give some continuity to these young players. Um, a lot of them have been involved with Southgate as a, as a coach since since the under 19s and the 17s and the 21s. Uh, he's worked at the St George you know, High Performance Centre. You know, he's been involved with the FA setup on the national scene for for a long time since he left Middlesbrough as, as manager. So it's part of his DNA as well. So it's good to have him, you know, still around. He's, you know, and and these players clearly they work well with Southgate. He works well with them. So it's a positive move. And let's see, you know, going forward if they can take that next step from from getting to a knockout game and winning to actually going on to a final and winning a final. Some of the youth teams have done it recently. 
in the various youth level competitions, getting to finals and win. Hopefully these young players get given game time and because Southgate's been critical of the Premier League and not enough English players playing in the Premier League. He's been very critical about, you know, saying I might have to select players from the Championship, which is a concern, but it is a veiled threat to the Premier League saying you need to do better. You need to give these kids a chance because I'm willing to give them a chance. Even if they don't have a lot of experience, I'm willing to take a gamble of them. Your club should too. So he's really, you know, not holding any punches there in his criticism of the Premier League, which is refreshing to hear from Manager saying, yeah, we need to change the system, it's not working. He's looking at how the Germans have won more World Cups and the Italians and the Spanish winning all these tournaments. And he's going, well, if they can do it, look how many players in their leagues are actually represent, able to represent the national country, the national side. It's a lot higher than England. So he's not holding his punches when he's going, we should aim to get the same percentage of players registered to play for England playing in our top division. He's not holding back, is he? So that's a good, you know, he's giving it to the Premier League. And I think the Premier League needs to hear that because the Premier League is losing touch with, with the fan base and is not giving English players a shout out because they're always chasing the money. They're not really considering the development of players and obviously the fans. It's good to see him, you know, give the Premier League what for. He's a very softly spoken man. He's a very calm individual, but it's good to see him, you know, give it the Premier League. But anyway, that's, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Southgate's going to be manager for four more years. Let's see if in the Euros we can take a step forward. Uh, we haven't had one in the Euros for quite some time. Let's see if we can, you know, get that next step in another tournament. Back-to-back -to -back tournaments, getting to the knockout stages, going far in those knockout stages, because the Euros is an expanded tournament um, in, in two years' time. And let's see in the World Cup we can go from losing semi-finalists to maybe runners-up in the tournament, maybe actually giving the final a go. Uh, and getting there to so take that next step even if we don't necessarily win the final just just get that next step and 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 and, and push further and i think southgate's the man to do it thank you very much for watching and i'll have some more videos for you soon